there's something uniquely disturbing about people disappearing into thin air. Although these five disappearances span centuries, locations, age ranges, and circumstances, there's one common thread shared between them, a lack of closure. There are theories, speculations, and investigations, but never a decisive answer. Virginia Dare On August 18, 1587, Virginia Dare was born in Roanoke Colony, making her the first English child born in the Americas. Her grandfather was John White, who earlier that year had helped found Roanoke. But White never saw Virginia grow up because by the time he returned to Roanoke from an extended trip to retrieve supplies, the entire colony had vanished. Not just the people, but every structure. No one knows what happened to Virginia or the rest of the Roanoke colonists. Owen Parfit The disappearance of old Owen Parfit from his sister's front porch in the English countryside isn't nearly as famous as the disappearance of Amelia Earhart in 1937, but it's even more mysterious. In the summer of 1763, while living with his sister in the town of Shepton Mallet, the paralyzed 60-year-old Parfit simply disappeared. He couldn't have walked off. But even the farm workers in the field across the road from the porch where Parfit was sitting didn't see anyone come or go. One moment he was there, the next, poof. Barbara Newhall Follett Finishing her first novel at age 8, Barbara Newhall Follett had written four books by the time she turned 18. But her literary success came at a price, she never had a childhood. By age 25, Follett had fallen into depression, and on the evening of December 7, 1939, she walked out of her house after an argument with her husband, never to be seen or heard from again. Her body was never found. Paula Jean Weldon was a sophomore at Bennington College on the day in December 1946 that she disappeared without a trace after telling her roommate she was taking a long walk. At one point, Paula's father was suspected in her disappearance, he was later cleared. Over the next 10 years, a local Bennington man bragged to friends that he knew where Paula's body was buried, but he couldn't lead police to the gravesite. No one knows what really happened to Paula. James Tetford. Strangely enough, Bennington was the site of several unsolved disappearances that took place in the 1940s, including that of the wife of James Tetford, whom Tetford claimed went to the market and never returned. Just a few years later, in 1949, Tetford himself disappeared without a trace. He was last seen on a crowded bus, sleeping in his seat. Yet when the bus reached Bennington, Tetford had gone. All of his belongings left behind. He was never seen or heard from again. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button if you want part 2.